Welcome back to the Drifter Journey channel. We are Jess and Greg, and this is our land development series. In last week's episode, we talked about how we chose our property, comparing lots for sale to our list of criteria. Today, we're going back to the day we closed on our property and started on our very first project. If you'd like to support us, please shop through our Amazon link in the description below. Otherwise, if Amazon is not your thing, feel free to send us a Venmo or shop with one of our partners, where we give you great discounts on awesome brands. Let's get started. Talking to the neighbors. <laughs> See if we can get the van up in here. <laughs> there you go. All right. Moment of truth. Now we gotta get that fat ass in that tiny hole. Everybody, let's take a quick second to talk about the sponsor for this video and let you know how to get a discount on their products. This video is sponsored by Epic Water Filters. They're out of Colorado. They have water filters that go in now jeans for when you're hiking, and they also have products to filter tap water at your house. Check out their website. We got a link below for them, and use code Drifter Journey all caps to get 20% off your order. sweet home. New project. Open that fence up a little bit wider. We closed on the lot this morning and so we are gonna work on the fence. How excited are you? I'm very excited. Come on. I ain't, well, I'm excited. I just, we got projects. Yeah, we've got probably two we years worth of projects. Of projects. Starting with the fence. Yeah. This fence was not on the property line, nor was it even close to being straight, something neither of us can handle. So we removed the grid fencing and top strand of barbed wire, then pulled each T-post out of the ground. We ran a string from corner to corner using the survey markers in order to follow a straight line and ensure that our fence was on the property boundary. Okay, let's see how this one goes all bent. Ready? Yeah. Going in all right? Seems like it. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. How's day two on the lot going? Pretty good. We are that many posts in. <laughs> Such a nice, long, straight fence. Pretty straight. Just pretty and have you ever built a fence before? Nope. So, I'd say that's a win. It was doing a, doing a snake.
Been on the lot for a week and a half now. Finished our fencing project. Been making some calls and plans. And today's project. Well, yesterday's project. Yesterday's project, we uh, took this hump out so that out the driveway. we didn't have to come blazing in to get momentum over the bump. Today's project, we're going to take out this post and put in a giant gate so that we don't have a mini gate. So we have a 16 foot gate being delivered later. And we're going to try to get this out and that installed today. Better than it was, and now it's a big opening. So, good. Not your uh, remote control powered opening. Not yet. <laughs> Ooh, so then it would hang. Yeah. But if we needed it out, we can go pretty all the way around, huh? Yeah. We got a gate. Today's edition of homesteading, big nail, tiny hammer. He said, just give it a big hammer. Just big hammer it. Only 10 inches needs to go through here. On a positive note, the na nail probably won't bend. With our first property project completed, we were feeling hopeful and optimistic about finding subcontractors for the next steps of our build process. Little did we know how difficult that would be, beginning a string of challenges that would impede our progress for months to come. Stay tuned for the next episode where we have our first visitors to the property, some very good band friends, and start digging some holes. Thanks for watching.